So, Rauru, what are you trying to achieve with children here? Yeah. Okay, we want, um, we want our kids to be bilingual, biliterate, bicultural. We want them to be able to, when they leave here, they have to be, have all the skills and the knowledge and the attitudes that are going to allow them to do whatever it is they want to do. But we're also growing speakers for our marae, you know, kai karanga for our marae, people who can retain the vitality of, of you know, the marae, of the essence of being Māori, uh, so that they can walk uh, confidently, competently in either world. Mm. Yeah? They can um, they can foot it anywhere. Yeah, they they're Maori, they're New Zealanders, but they're also global citizens. And so, language is identity, is culture, is being, and um, and if people are secure in who they are, where they are, what their purpose is, what potential, what skills they have, what they have to offer the world, you know, they are far more likely to be productive citizens, yeah? better people. How does national standards fit into all of this? Uh, we do not support national standards at all, um, because they, you know, they're pre measuring predominantly uh, numeracy and literacy skills, and but not even the full range. You know, it's only a, a very limited um, section of each, and you know they do not define the mm. person. Mm. You know. What defines a person is their ability to think, to communicate, you know, to be, mm. um, to be nice people towards each other, mm. you know, to be just be mm. decent folk. Mm. And um, so national standards, they, they don't tell you anything about um, really how well this, this child is growing, is developing in the whole sphere of life that is kura, that is school. We're just trying to do the best that we can for the kids that we have here. Mm for te reo Māori, for the Māori culture, for, for kids growing up, you know, succeeding as Māori uh, within, within their language, their identity and their culture. Now, that could be a line out of the government's policy manifesto, but the thing is we believe it because it is important. You know, retaining our own, the stories that have been handed down, the tribal traditions, the language, because if people you know, if our kids, if our kids know and understand those, um, you know, there's no better way of, you know, doing social studies. Mm. And if they understand themselves, then they're going to be much better placed to mm. understand others. Um, our kids can count. Mm. They can read. They can write. They can think. Mm. And they can dream. Mm. And they can dream in Māori, or they can dream in English. <laughs> yeah? And they c can create. Yeah, mm. and um, so is everything kapai now? Is everything everything good now? And I mean, uh, do you have equity? Equity. <laughs> What's equity? No. The um, the 1984 Tomorrow's School uh, legislation and <coughs> um, and the policies and the, and the procedures and the regulations that that came out of that, yeah, you know, they were all designed to support the existing mainstream system. So, you know, whatever we have got, we've had to fight for it, and we're continuing to fight for it. Because um, although all of those regulations are, are under review right now, um, in reality, um, they still support that mainstream system. So we deliberately pulled away from that, mm. and yet you've got, you know, small-minded Ministry of Education bureaucrats in either Wellington or, or uh, the mm. regional offices, mm. right? Mm. And um, they don't know us. They don't mm. know who we are. They don't mm. know what we're about. What they do know is their book, mm. right? And so their book says that we must perform like this. Mm. And we're saying, but wait, mm. yeah? We have our own legislation. Where are the regulations? Where are the policies and the procedures to support that mm. legislation, mm. right? And that's a constant, um, that's a constant challenge, mm. you know? 25, 30 years ago, we knew, we knew that what we were doing was going to create a situation where the jobs 
that those that our kids at that time were going to go into had not yet been invented. Mm. And that has absolutely come to pass. Mm. There was no such thing. Uh, Māori radio was in its mm. fledgling years. Mm. There was no such thing as Māori television. Mm. There were no indigenous production houses. Mm. Um, the, the Māori arts outside of um, kapahaki, you know, in terms of mm. um, bands, individual singers, etc., mm. etc., they were, you know, you could almost count them on mm. one hand. There is now, um, you know, the Māori media mm. industry is huge. But also you when know, you started 25 years ago, there would have been no cell phones, um, no computers, home computers, yep. no fax machines even yep. 25 right. years ago. Um, so it's not just... Maoridom that's been facing a different future. We all are. That's right. And so you're saying that the, 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 the way that you're teaching your children uh, to be thinkers yep. is, is actually uh, producing better citizens. Oh, absolutely, because a lot of the people who are actually leading the innovation you know, in those respective industries, mm. they're products of our, mm. um, of our schooling option. We have doctors. Mm. medical doctors of medicine. We have lawyers, we have accountants, we have nurses, we have people doing all sorts of things who are graduates of this system. Yeah? So they're doing what they want to do. But what they're also able to contribute to still is just being Māori. Mm. Just being a Māori mm. in mm. 2014, yeah? in the 21st century. 